we are continuing with the process of allowing us to display products in this admin area right here. In this area right here, it's a blank screen, there's nothing there. So the goal to continue on is that we're gonna allow our display of products right here. Let's go ahead to my notes. So first thing I wanna do is get categories and add get categories and get products inside our admin dashboard. All right, so the first, but the first thing I wanna do is previously I have, I fired off the dispatch of get categories inside our app.js, but I'm going to remove that from here. All right, just remove it and all this right here. And we don't need to use effect anymore here. I guess we can, yeah, we can just leave it like that. All right, I'm gonna close up this app.js. And instead, I'm gonna move all that stuff inside our admin dashboard. So first thing I'm gonna need is I'm gonna have to bring in that use effect here. I'm gonna make a note here for Redux. And I'm going to import use this dispatch from React Redux. And we're gonna import two action functions. The first one is gonna be the get categories from go back one direct uh, go back one directory, going to redux, going to actions and our category actions. I'm gonna copy this and below paste it and change this to get products and product actions. Now we're going to make use of JavaScript here. So I'm gonna do some changes and remove this here and write, I'm gonna do a return just like that and if I save oh no I got it. all right there we go all right so now I can add my JavaScript here so the first thing I'm gonna bring in my dispatch and now we're gonna use use effect and we got two arguments the first one is the function Second argument is our square braces, and we're gonna pass as a dependency dispatch. Otherwise, we're gonna see a warning here. Um, so add that dispatch there because we're gonna fire off a dispatch of get categories. I'm gonna make a duplicate of this and paste it right below because we're gonna make the other one is gonna be get products. Therefore, we're gonna execute fire off get categories and get products once our component does mount. Okay, that's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark this off here. So we added the get categories and get products inside our admin dashboard component. So the next thing is we're gonna start building our, our admin body component. All right, we got an error here. Can I read property data of undefined? All right. The reason for this is it's, uh, we got to go to our back end and one of our controllers for the controller for reading the for getting the products. If we go to controllers and product.js the read all, which is for getting all the products. Over here in the response.json, you see we have our products, but we have to wrap the products inside curly braces, just like this, all right? And if I save that, and if I go back, refresh the page, 
right? Issue resolved. Okay, and that was for this note right here I had, so I can go ahead and mark that. So the next thing is, let's go ahead and start building out the admin body component. Going back to the front end, the client component. So I'm gonna create a new file inside our components and call it admin body js and i'm going to place it inside our admin dashboard so i'm going to go ahead and import that import admin body yeah admin uh, admin body and now I can add it right at the very bottom. Admin body. Go ahead and save that. Bring that right here. Okay, now I'm gonna start with the skeletal skeleton structure for our component, for our functional component. I'm gonna do uh, like this. Oh. By the way, there are there's a, an extension. I just downloaded it, so I'm kind of new to this extension. But it's in case you were wondering why I was able to make the skeleton structure so fast. Um, the extension was it's called React.js Code Snippets. And again, I just installed it, so I'm still learning it. But there's a lot of shortcuts to help you uh, make the development much faster just by using shortcuts. All right. So, but I'm learning it myself. But anyways, that's what that's what happened there. Okay, so here, let's see. This is gonna be an arrow function. All right, so there we got that. And this admin body. We're not gonna have any props, at least for now. Uh, okay, so the next thing is okay. So now, in the admin body, what was it that I was gonna do? Create the admin body component. Okay, so we are gonna this add yeah. This admin body, this component is, oh, all right, well, let's go ahead and if I save that, there we go, all right, so let me close this up here. The admin body is essentially gonna cover this whole area right here. That's what that admin body is going to involve. All right, so here, let's go ahead and I'm going to start off by having our products because that's what we're going to need. Um, so we're going to use, we're going to import. Well, let me make a note here. Redux. I'm going to import use selector. Selector allows you to pull out state properties from Redux. So I got to go back to. Let's see, you gotta go Redux, Reducers, and Product Reducers. No, no, that's that was a mistake, actually. You select, no, what am I doing? No, not that. My mistake, React Redux. You selector from React Redux, okay. All right, so now what I wanna do is I wanna grab with you selector the props from our redux state and the way i'm going to do that is i'm going to destructure from use uh, use selector you selector takes an argument and that is it's going to take the state it's going to get the state and we're going to get the state dot products now this products, the name is coming from, oh, let me, that is if I go to my combined reducers, which is located in the store.js, this is, you see the combined reducer, I called it products, all right? So the product reducer is stored inside of products and that's why I'm calling it the state.products, okay? And what I wanna pull there from there is also products because products is if we go to the reducer to redux reducers product reducers that's referring to what are the state properties within your reducer that you want 
that I want uh, that we want to pull out and I only have one property and that's the products so that's that's where the destruction is now of now I'm destructuring the products property hopefully that made sense um, all right let me close this here and this here so going back here so now we have this right here is the products property or all the products we fetch from our redux all right so the next thing is let's go ahead and um, we are going to add a class here and we are using bootstrap so I'm going to use this first the outer layer is going to be the container and then I'm going to do a div here and this is going to be class name it's going to be row and then now I want to do a class name of card deck card deck we are going to use bootstrap the uh, cards so there's a class property called card deck card dash deck and then within here I'm going to start looping over our products so I'm going to do a products dot map and then product for each product we are going to display a div uh, see a div and inside this div um, inside this div I'm going to I wanted this to just display product dot product name and these are the field names from our database so sh so we should have a field called product name all right I'm gonna go ahead and save that all right but when I'm get to, why am I getting this error here Div. what did I do here div div delete that for a second container products products map product I'm sure maybe some of you guys see exactly what my error is. I'm sure it's some small, but I, hmm. Where is this error? Parsing error, okay, 19. Alright, so here now I can display our product and then product name. All right, so if I do that and go back, alright, good. So that's exactly what I want. So we're displaying all, we have two products. We have a turkey burger and a veggie burger. But I want that to be more clear. Um, how can I, how can I separate this? Mm. I'm going to do a class name of card and then press enter. Card is a bootstrap property. All right, there you go. All right, it's much easier. All right, so you see that we are displaying our two products that we have in our database. We have turkey burger and a veggie burger. And I can confirm that here in my database. We are products and you see two products, turkey burger and veggie burger. 
All right, so that's it for now. Um, now the next step is we are gonna build out our component here, uh, which is gonna be called card, and that's gonna display all of our our products, but of course in a nicer fashion, but at least uh, we know that we're displaying everything inside our, our loop and we're, we're heading in the right direction. All right, so that's it for now and I'll see you later.